Okay, so um, getting a lot of good numbers. A lot of you guys um, have some decent numbers. So, you know, I'm not going to break something that's not broke. Although I, I do occasionally break things that are broke, but uh, I won't break anything that's not broken. And uh, so what we call, they're called, we call them basic cows. And uh, you can do them three times a day. It takes about nine minutes. And what you do is, uh, so you start off with, uh, say, pull-ups. So you do a 30 year pull-ups. So let's say the guy does 15 pull-ups. Easy math. So five is a third. Um, so zero minute starts. Knocks out five pull-ups. If it takes him 20 seconds or it takes him 49 seconds, he then rests for, you know, 40 seconds or 11 seconds. The next time the minute comes around, so it's a minute interval, the minute comes around, boom, he knocks out five more. Rest, next time minute comes around, boom, knock out five more. Um, then you do that for push-ups, sit-ups as well. Um, so you can do that morning, lunch, and, you know, say dinner time, going home time, whatever. Um, you do that three times a week, or, I'm sorry, three times a day for five days. Um, so next week, Monday, you do, uh, see how your numbers go. Maybe you can do six. You do six, 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 or seven, seven, seven. Um, if you try to do it and you can't do it, you, you know, the second set, you get stuck at, you know, five. Well, then stay with five. Um, uh, sports physiologist, kinesthesiologist taught us this. Um, this guy also taught us never to uh, run from a cold start. You always kind of a jog to a run. And uh, we cut out a lot of injuries in doc. So uh, I can't explain why the, the science works. But like I said, if it's magic and it works, I don't question it. Um, which is funny because today, for some reason, usually I do my underwaters, well, usually I just do a boatload of underwaters and then, uh, tread and fin type stuff, but today I did it, uh, backwards. I finned, tread, and then did my underwaters, and I actually found that my underwaters were smoother than usual. Uh, the water was a little cold, so it usually takes me a little bit to warm up. But but that's my, my point, is that I was warmed up. So holding my breath wasn't so... Not that it was hard, but... Uh, you know what I'm talking about, when it's it's a little less enjoyable when you're cold. But uh, underwaters are easy when you're, when you're warmed up. So what I want you to do is, if you're doing underwaters or you're doing anything like that, just warm up. You know, if you're going for a run, uh, ride a bike or jog around or do the dynamic warm ups. Um, if you've been here before, you know the dynamic warm ups. If you haven't been here before, uh, I'll make that video later. But basically, you do a bunch of kind of, you know, stretches, but they're dynamic stretches. You never want a static stretch before you do a workout. Uh, that also is bad. Uh, save static stretching for the end of the day when you will no longer be using your muscles, but only dynamic. So, you know, 10 to 20 seconds warming up, moving, <laughs> excuse me. Um, so, yeah, so do the basic cows three times a day, five days a week. Um, in about two weeks, I, I can almost guarantee you, because I was stuck on a plateau for pull-ups for a long time actually at 15 and doing the um, basic cows I was able to get my pull-ups to 18 so it's not too bad and then uh, stay warm keep warm and it'll make the rest of your workout go a lot easier so uh, especially that, that was interesting for underwaters because I, I never uh, correlated the two uh, although I do know that I don't like holding my breath in cold water it's always kind of miserable so uh, that's my little workout hint tip for the day. Thank you guys for sending me your past numbers. I will uh, get on that um, ASAP. Well, like I said, if 
if you had good numbers, um, specifically this for an Instagram guy, uh, he was a little low, he had like 70, 70 sit-ups and 60 push-ups, stay with whatever you're working out on, do these basic cows for two weeks, uh, let me know if anything has helped, because like I said, it sounds like you got a good workout, and, uh, <laughs> excuse me, and, uh, oh yeah, here's another thing, so, um, the guy was telling me he's, uh, constantly tired, he's not making any gains, you know, um, if you've been training hard, you know, five to seven days a week for the last nine months, and everything hurts, and everything seems to be going bad, <clears throat> I think you might be, uh, overtraining, and overtraining is not good, so you might want to, uh, mellow out for about a week or two, Give yourself a break. Don't do any high impact anything. Um, maybe go get a massage, do some yoga, uh, swim mildly, and uh, see if some rest will help. Uh, that, that has happened to uh, a couple of the instructors uh, because we basically do what you do for 50 weeks a year. You only got to do it for 10. So uh, it beats us up pretty good. So. The tendency to overtrain is there. So uh, sometimes, you know, your body needs a break. Uh, maybe not in the middle of in-dock, but that's why uh, I recommend not running more than three miles a day when you're training to come here. You'll, you'll get the mileage. You know, if you can run a mile, you can run 26 of them. So just relax. Uh, you know, train hard, but also be aware of uh, what you're doing to your body. So... If you're overtraining, take a little break, back off, you know, maybe you're doing too much, maybe you're sick, maybe you got a cold, you know, you just got to take care of your body, so listen to it, if it's, pain is telling you something's wrong, you know, there's a difference between being sore and being in pain, so, it's uh, workout tips for the day, hope everyone had a good one, and uh, I'll chat with you later.